Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. It's going to be a short one this time. I'm Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo and today we're going to play around with a very simple two uh, transistors FM receiver. So I had this kid who was emailing me uh, constantly asking me to try this schematic and I thought hey it's the summer vacation for the kids so why not. I know it's not really amateur radio related but uh, I guess all of us in the in the childhood we wanted to try simple receivers and that's how we ended up getting hooked into this um, amateur radio hobby. I found the schematic online quite often to be honest and uh, I think I watched some videos in the past as well and I wasn't very impressed but I thought okay let's try it out uh, anyway. Uh, so without wasting any time uh, let's uh, get on the table we're going to take a closer look at the schematic see what I built so far um, and uh, we'll see how it works so far and uh, if it works well maybe we can improve it but I'm not going to continue without saying thank you to my friends at PCBWay for always supporting the DX Explorer channel they have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and a lot more services available for you. Remember they also have a great module store where you can go pick up some uh, interesting things that might be useful for your projects. They have a lot of hardware and some tools available so uh, feel free to visit. If you don't have an account for PCBWay, have a look in the video description, you'll find the link that you can click and register for your new account and you'll get a discount on your first order. As I'm always saying, PCBWay is the way. So this is the very simple schematic, very basic two transistors um, online. Most of the schematics, they also have the audio amplifier part made with LM386. I cut that because I didn't want to uh, waste my time building it. I already have one, so I'm using that one uh, just to test this circuit. And if I'm happy and we forget it to work a little bit better, probably will end up building a, a, a very nice circuit together with the audio amplifier. But for now, all I can say is that the original schematic required for S9018 transistors, which I believe they have better bandwidth, but I don't have those, so I'm using two, uh, two N3904 transistors. Um, for the variable capacitor, you can use one of, oops, one of these capacitors. Uh, usually, most of the ones that you find in the receivers, uh, they have two sections. One it's 20 picofarads, and the other one is 20 picofarads. So you will want to use the 20 picofarad section. In my case right now, actually over here I have 160 picofarads and in this side I have 60 picofarads. So what I did, I placed uh, 15 picofarads in series, uh, a fixed capacitor in series with the variable capacitor to lower the value of this one. Now, uh, what else I did, I built the inductor. Um, I don't think I built it uh, uh, with the dimensions uh, that I found online in various schematics. Basically, I just used a screwdriver. Uh, I think it was four millimeters in diameter and I believe with nine turns of 0 0.45 millimeters enamel copper wire, I ended up with 0 0.55 micro Henry. So I tried to respect the values in the schematic uh, just because I wanted to see how it works without any uh, possible modifications. But of course I had to adapt to whatever I, I had available. Here 22 kilo ohms uh, resistor, you have 4.5 volts uh, power input. I have 9, um, I, over here it was 22 nanofarads, in some schematics I found 100 nanofarads. I realized that it sounds better with 100 nanofarads, so this is the one that I used. And on the audio output over here usually you have the uh, potentiometer that goes to the audio amplifier. Um, and uh, what I did, I actually used a resistor to increase the um, output uh, Im impedance of the circuit. And I'm using a 2.2 kilo ohms resistor. Here you can use anything between uh, 1 point, no, 1, 1, uh, sorry, 1 kilo ohm, maybe to up to 4.7 kilo ohms, depending on the audio amplifier that you're using. And uh, that in case you don't use a potentiometer. And I think that's it. 
so this is the circuit um, yeah let's uh, let's test the the receiver I'm trying to receive some stations without music so this is one one station over here uh, let's see if we can receive anything else the music uh, I don't want music anyway some more stations over here the problem we'll talk a little bit uh, about that in uh, in a second let's listen just a little bit more to this one So it's not bad. It has it has potential. The, the only problem is that it's not very stable in frequency and it's very sensitive to touches, as you can tell. But of course, the way I build the circuit over here is not a good idea uh, to have it in, in this one. But let me turn on the light really quick and I'll be right back to explain a couple of more things. Okay, now with the LED light it's a lot better. <laughs> I could not record the audio with uh, that one uh, to demonstrate the receiver just because it uh, captures all the um, uh, interferences from the from the LED light and you can't hear anything. So uh, yeah, it works. I mean, it's a very simple circuit, two transistors only, uh, without um, counting the, the audio amplifier part, but it works. Is it reliable? Probably not, I don't know. Um, it's not very stable in frequency, it's very sensitive to touch it, but of course it's a bad idea to build it on a prototyping board like I did over here because this one brings a lot of extra capacitors into the circuit and it's messing up a lot of things. So definitely I would recommend it to build it on a piece of uh, um, a copper board with some little islands, you know, like maybe Manhattan style. Uh, if you don't want to uh, design a PCB board but if it works nice and uh, I get it to work better and uh, you know maybe get it a little bit more stable in frequency um, and if it performs nice maybe I will design a PCB board um, which could be great for uh, kids clubs you know like radio clubs um, for kids activities because why not it's a lot of fun and you get to listen to some um, local FM stations. So yeah, it's a it's very simple circuit. It's not bad, um, and it works. I mean, as simple as it is, um, it does work. And I believe with the original transistors, it was working probably even way better than this one. So what I'm going to try to do now, I'm going to stop here with this video. I'm going to play around a little bit, see if I can get the circuit to work a little bit better. And if it does, I'll also work on the audio amplifier part, test it out, and I'll come back with a part two uh, of this video. Uh, probably later on this evening, um, we'll post another video and I'll tell you uh, we, um, my opinion and uh, the final result that we get with this uh, a simple receiver. But as it is in the original schematic that you find online, it does work, definitely. Is it perfect? Probably not. But it's worth trying and it's worth experimenting with, at least just for the fun of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to keep this video any longer. I'm going to go to sleep because it's about 4 o'clock in the morning right now by the time I'm recording this video. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to come back... Uh, later on this evening and meanwhile probably you'll be watching this video <laughs> so thanks so much for watching this is a fun project it reminds me of my childhood um, if this one doesn't work and i can't get it to work uh, better than it does right now i think i have an idea 
with another circuit that is using only one transistor except the audio amplifier part so we might want to try that one as well we'll see uh, we'll see in the later video uh, today um, this evening so thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next video until then 73 from Yankee oscar 6 delta x-ray echo